Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and today I wanted to talk about how you can pivot your data in SQL, and just wanted to, you know, just go over what it really means to pivot data. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of the SQL itself, but just the concept. So let's go over that. So here's what it means to pivot data. If you have some detail rows of data, like I do here on the left. You can see where we got like the burr and polish, and we have different types of maybe operations in our plant, and then maybe styles of what's happening, and then the total inventory uh, that a value of our product within those operations in the plant. And what I can do is create a cross tabulation or what SQL would call a pivot table of that information where I can show maybe the locations going down in rows and then the style is going across this columns and then I can summarize that information in the cell. So what you see here for style U, the, um, the 26 whatever that huge number is, is actually that sum of everything in the red. Okay, so we can create this really cool summary chart that combines the locations and the styles and then just summarizes that information. So there's a couple of things that make a pivot statement a lot easier to understand if you kind of get things put down in place. First is there are pivot columns, and those are the uh, obviously the, the columns going across the table. And then there are what are called the grouping elements, which are the rows going down the table. And then there's the aggregation at the intersection, which is a really complicated way of saying the cells that we are summarizing or adding up that's in the um, middle of the table. So let me show you this with some color coding. So here again, we got the parts, the columns, the groupings, and the aggregate, and we're gonna show how this sums, okay? So here's the row grouping element. So these are um, the rows going down. And then I have the pivot columns going across, right, in, in yellow. And then the sum is in green. Okay, so remember these colors, because I'm gonna go on to the next slide and show you how these relate to the SQL statement, okay? So here's our our result for our pivot table down here. And if you notice, it looks the same. And here's the number we're going to focus on, that 26. And here's the big complicated pivot statement. All right, so I'm not going to go and necessarily explain how this thing works, but I am going to show you how it's color coded to this, the um, result. So I think between this and reading, you'll, you'll start to see all the pieces come together. Okay. So here's the row grouping element, location name, and there they are. There's the location names. There's the pivot columns, right? So I have the pivot columns coming in and I'm showing them coming across. And then the last thing's gonna be the total, right? And then there's the sum, right there, sum total inventory, and then you can see the total coming in. So really the idea here wasn't to go in and show you how to write the statement. I wanted to make you aware of the statement and hopefully, you now have an appreciation of what the pivot statement is, kind of the major pieces that put it together. And if you want to learn more about this, I have um, some information on my website. So, so go to www.essentialsql.com and you can find more information. Thanks.